Welcome back everybody, and it's finally time to finish off the advanced text adventure. Um, this will be the final part of this, where we can hopefully get the whole thing running, and it'll be up to you to add in the extras and things and pieces uh, that you want after that. Um, quick note before we get started is, um, please make sure that you've done all of the other videos up to uh, this point, or else it won't work. In particularly this part here, I noticed that I hadn't included this in some of my other videos, but I do program it in video one uh, is to create a class function so if you haven't got that function in there the rest of this isn't going to work so do make sure you go through videos one to four to get those uh, to make sure you've got all the parts of this to make the whole thing work so down the bottom here we've just got some testing and bits and pieces that we were doing and this is literally we're going to do um, one more function and then we're going to run the main loop which is going to be um, up to you how how many times you want to run it and stuff like that and then and then that's it basically um, so we are going to first of all define a level generator so because all of our um, all of our game is basically uh, generated for us and we've only just put in things like the uh, the enemies and the, our character and things like that um, we want it to be kind of generating levels for us as well let's get this let's get rid of this test stuff out of the way for a minute so our level generator what we're going to try and do is we're going to have it so that um, they, the 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 user will basically reach certain milestones. So level one, level two, level three. So at like level one, they'll have to fight five enemies. Say at level two, they'll have to fight ten enemies. Three, they'll have to fight fifteen enemies, and so on and so on. So we want to kind of generate a max number of enemies there, and this is going to equal. So we're going to round this up. It's going to equal uh, math dot uh, see level times five. So it's going to make sure that um, we don't we don't have to round it up in bits and pieces like that. So it's going to return a whole number here for us. Um, so whatever level that they put in there, in fact, probably would just need this to return the whole number, just in case you want to use decimal points for your levels and things like that. This will kind of uh, this will get rid of anything like that and just round it up to a, a whole integer for you anyway like that maybe you want to use decimal points for your levels I'm not sure this will kind of get rid of any issues with that anyway it'll work either way so when I um, call this I'm going to put in a level so at level one the max number of enemies I want to generate is level one which is one times five so up to five enemies I'd say so I've kind of gone for um, increments of five so a max number of five so I might get generated one enemy at level one it could be two three four five then level two is going to be two times five so the maximum amount of enemies that can be generated at level two will be ten at level three the maximum amount of enemies will be fifteen and so on and so on and so on so we've got kind of a little bit of variety there in the amount of enemies which are going to be generated so we now need to kind of actually generate those enemies so we're going to use this number that we're generating here the max number to um, Kind of do a for loop for it. So for in range from zero to the max number of enemies. And people have been uh, talking to me about different uh, IDEs they use instead of Python and things like that. And uh, what that would have done was maybe just filled in that variable for me. So have a little look at other things out there like PyCharm and things like that you can download, which has a few extra functions which makes programming a little bit simpler. I kind of like this version of Python, it's a bit like bare bones. It's kind of what I learned on, so it's good, it's good to learn on it anyway. So this loop is going to happen from zero to the maximum number of enemies which are generated here. And what we're going to do in this loop is we're going to, first of all, we're going to check, uh, we're going to generate a, a chance for one of the generated enemies to be a boss. Because we have that separate boss variable. So the, the chance of a boss being generated is going to be boss chance equals a random dot rand int between 1 and 10, say. And then if the number generated at that point is greater than 7, the level boss will be true. Else, the level boss will equal false. 
So what I'm saying here is that um, if I'm giving it to between 1 and 10, and I'm saying anything greater than 7, I'm saying there's a 30% chance, so um, 3 out of 10 basically, chance of generating a boss. You can, if you want there to be more of a chance, you can make that number lower. If you want it to be less of a chance of generating a boss, you can make that number higher. I'm going to go with 7 for the time being, 30% chance of generating a boss seems pretty fair at this point. So, in our for loop, the first thing we check is, are we generating a boss? Okay, so whether or not that's true or false. Now we just need to generate the actual character. So we are going to um, generate it like this. So our, our kind of battle state um, keeps returning whether or not our character has died. And that this is going to be checked in the main loop as well, this character dead variable. So we're going to call our battle function. It's going to take an argument, which is the generated enemy, which takes an argument of whether or not it's a boss. So the enemy gen with the boss being uh, true or false, which is being uh, captured there. And secondly, it's going to take our character as a second argument. So our battle takes an enemy with whether or not it's a level boss and our character. Once we've done the battle, we need to check whether or not we've hit a game over. So game over is going to take the character dead variable there to check whether or not we've died basically. So this battle will return true or false um, when we die. So it, sorry, it will turn, it will turn uh, if we've died it will return true here and then true will go into here and then it will run the game over state. Um, and that is it for the level generator. So the level generator is all done there. What we now need to do is we need to program the main. So this is going to be, this is uh, the last part. And I'm going to leave a lot of this up to you guys to kind of decide how you want to do it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to call that create class function that we've already done. So class data equals create class. So this is the create class survey that we um, that we uh, created in the first lesson. If you don't remember doing that, go back and make sure you've got it. All these files are going to be linked in the uh, GitHub anyway. The character equals the class hero, 100 health, and then the attributes which are generated from this create class, because this obviously generates like a lark, a, a strength, a skill, and stuff like that. And it returns them as a list if we remember. So class data is a list here. And we're going to say class data zero. And I need to basically write this up to five. And that's it. So we've got our hero. Um, class takes um, these six arguments so it takes uh, a health and then it takes like I said earlier like a skill archery strength magic all those extra kind of attributes which we put into it here and they're being returned and we're just like plugging them in here to create our character so from here um, and in fact if you're not sure how this works go back up to the hero class and the hero and the character generator and have a look how it works so from here now we want to let's just print out um, our characters variables so we can see how we look basically or what our character is doing so print out the variables of character and then I'm going to do this like this and then we're going to call our level generator So here at level 1, we're going to call the level generator, it takes our character, which is then used in the battle state and all the rest of it, and it takes a number. So at this point, um, it's level 1, so I'm going to put the number 1 in there. At here, we can see it's going to generate us a max number of enemies up to the level times 5, so 1 times 5, so up to 5 in this case. Then it's going to run through a for loop, so if it generated us 5 enemies here, it's going to run through this for loop between 0 and 5 times. It's going to create us um, uh, bosses, um, whether or not they, um, depending on if they are, the boss chance is greater than 7. Then it will run our battle, then it will check whether or not we died and it will go round and round. And if we manage to not die, 
we will come back into the main from there and then we'll be able to generate a next lot of levels. So we can do print level 2. And then we're going to use the level generator again, which takes the character and 2. So this time you can see the max number of enemies generated is going to be this level 2 times 5. So it can go up to 10 in this case. And then we'll just do it up again, so it will be 3, and then 4, and so on and so on. Okay, so this can be level 3, and this can be level 4 here. And then I'm going to finish it with something very boring. And then print out my character's variables, because obviously they're going to change. So if I manage to get this far, I'm one, and I'll print out my character's variables. So that is it. We can carry on adding as many different ones, uh, as many different levels as we want to this, um, and they obviously produce more and more, uh, more and more um, baddies for us to fight up, uh, fight against, and all the rest of it. Um, so let's actually test it and see if it works. Okay, uh, one thing I'm going to just do very quickly because I've realized I've just programmed this but it's not even running, it's running all this stuff down here. So this is our testing stuff. I'm going to get rid of that now because all I need to do is call the main and it should do everything else for me now. So let's do it. Let's call the main. So I should, um, so straight in, it's come to my character selection, um, character creation screen here. So let's see. Um, press enter to roll the dice. Um, okay, I haven't imported time on this one here, so I'm going to go right to the top here where I import random, and I'm also going to import time. You might already have time imported, um, so it might not be an issue for you. So let's try that again. So that was only a problem with my character creation, so if you've been doing it along with me, it should work already. Enter to roll a dice, so there we go, it's working now. So we've got five luck out of ten there. Are you more of an archer or magic user? Sam Archer. What is your name? Let's put my name in there. And there we go, so it's got uh, welcome Lee, it's got my stats here, 5, 10, 100, 5, 5, it's got my name, it's got a range variable for me there. So here we go, level one, what's that coming over the hill? So it's generated me this enemy, and um, we can now attack it and see and see how we're going to get through this. Um, so I'm going to just test this for a little bit and see how we go. So it's attacked me. Let's keep going. Is my ranged better? Yep, ranged seems to be a better attack. Let's just see. So here we go, so I defeated that enemy, um, it dropped me an iron bow, so my new ranged attack is now 25. Um, I've got a clumsy dingo has been generated, so we are going to, um, uh, unfortunately I might end up uh, losing this because that, that is a boss enemy. So that is generated so 211 health and it's doing massive damage to me as we go through. So let's just see if I can, just see if I can get it. Okay, so I got that one there, and my magic attack is now 15, so my ranged attack is still better. So let's see if I can get through there. So let's just see if I can get to it generating level 2. So still not at level 2 there, but I've got a much bigger ranged attack now. So here I've come back out, so I've completed level 1. I am now being generated level 2 monsters. So this has up to 10 monsters here being generated for me, or 10 whatever critters being generated. So I've now got, you can see here, um, because my uh, ranged is so, it's like it's getting massive each time, um, it may be that I need to uh, uh, change the attributes of this loot so that it's actually um, not generating me or not or not giving me such a massive uh, a massive uh, ranged attack and there it is really so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there all of the uh, code for this is going to be linked in the github so if you are having trouble with this if you can't get it to work for whatever reason you can download it from there and go from there but that is the last one of the a level text adventure i hope you liked it i hope you get a little bit of something out of it i do hope you've learned a little bit about classes and getters and setters and things like that if you've got questions if you've got anything else you need to know about it if you've got things that you did differently uh, let me know in the comments and we will see you for the next video